Testing one, two, three.
And we are back. Hello, everybody. I know. So after, I think, what, two years, we are back um, streaming here on uh, our beloved YouTube, I mean, the Twitch <laughs> channel. Um, I was going to see where later if um, you might also be watching this on YouTube, actually. But um, either way, we're so glad that you are watching. So um, before we begin, we're going to start in a prayer, which is how we believe um, to start everything. Right. So we're going to invite everybody to prepare themselves um, in a respectful manner, right, just for a few minutes. So. So um, we're going to have the prayers here on screen and we're going to be praying a special Lenten prayer because right now we're in the time of Lent. If you forgot what Lent is or what it's about, then don't worry because that's actually what we're going to be talking about today. So I'm going to invite everyone to join us in the name of the Father, Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. So together we'll pray while well, fasting, fasting with, with the body, brothers, brothers and, and sisters. sisters. Let, Let us also fast in spirit. spirit. Let, Let us lose every bond of iniquity. Let, Let us undo the knots of every contact made by violence. Let us tear up all unjust agreements. Let us give bread to the hungry and welcome to our house the poor who have no roof to cover them. That we may receive mercy from Christ our God. And together, um, I don't know why it's not there, but we're going to ask our um, patron saints of the youth group to pray for us. So I'm going to say their names and then we'll say pray for us together. So St. Lawrence, pray for, pray for us. us. Blessed God Locutis, pray, pray for, for us. us. And together we say in the name and of the Father, Father and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you. So uh, before I begin, we do, oh, there was, we do have a few rules, um, whether if you're watching live or if you want to leave a comment, um, if you're watching from YouTube, the rules still apply. The first one is everybody's equal. Um, we believe that, um, well, we don't believe in discrimination of any kind. So if you're, whether you're chatting on Twitch or leaving a comment on YouTube, we ask that you keep it respectful, which is the next one to respect each other, right? Um, so please, no bullying or harassing anybody in any way. I mean, we're not gonna respond to that very nicely, right? So we'll give you a warning and then that's it. And then the last one is to invest your time. If you're watching live on Twitch, and we're going to ask that, um, you know, give it a shot to participate in the prayers and to listen to talks. And if you're watching from YouTube, we're going to invite you to consider um, leaving a comment, letting us know that you watched it, what you liked about it, or if you have any additional questions. All right. So with that, um, we're going to um, transition next into our Saints of the Week. So, well, Pablo gets that ready our saint of the week is um, we take the time to talk about a different saint right saints are people who like us um, lived um, difficult lives and we can learn many things from their example right we believe that saints are in heaven and that it doesn't mean that they're perfect like us right um, but that we can learn from them and each of the saints have a different story to tell so here today um, we have also from the core team joining us here in a second we have glada and she is going to talk to us about this week's saint of the week when she is ready and yeah so there she is Sumerian apparition. This means that it is one of the times Mary personally and physically visited Earth. Our Lady of Lourdes first appeared to Saint Bernadette while she was picking firewood, firewood at a grotto. During one of her visits, Our Lady told Saint Bernadette to dig in the ground at her feet and drink the water that she found. She soon discovered that the water was special and had certain healing properties. The well caused many controversies at the time, but Our Lady later told St. Bernadette, I do not promise you happiness in this world but the next. 
Our Lady of Lords teaches us to have faith and trust in Jesus. Even though life is often hard and full of difficulties, we are called to hope and to work towards getting to heaven. I challenge you to spend time in prayer with Jesus and his mother Mary this land. So Our Lady of Lords patronages, that means things we can ask you for help for are um, for people who are sick, against bodily illnesses, and protection against diseases. So her feast day, which is the day that we celebrate her, is February 11th, which, is, which was on Sunday. So now I'm going to ask, we're going to ask Our Lady of Lords to pray for us. I'm going to invite you to join me to pray for, to, pray, to ask for her intercession. So, um, please join me in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. So when I say, Our Lady of Lords, we're going to respond by saying, pray for us. Our Lady of Lords, pray, pray for, for us. us. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you very much, Glada. So, um, like Glada was saying, um, Our Lady of Lords is a special apparition, right, which this is why this week's Saint of the Week um, is actually extra special because she is one of the apparitions of Mary. So throughout the year we'll hear about um, different apparitions and of course different types of saints. So um, next what we shall be doing is we're going to be playing a Jackbox game together. So we're going to set that up and um, if you're watching with us here on Twitch um, you can join. We'll give you some time if you do join though, however, we do of course ask that you keep it um, family friendly, otherwise we're just gonna, I mean, we could kick you out of the game, right, and we wouldn't like that, it wouldn't be that fun. Um, but if you're watching from YouTube, um, then I hope you enjoy that. So how the game works is that in a second we're going to put it up on the screen and the website that you guys will go to is jackbox.tv and then you enter the room code that we shall put on the screen in a second and then um, you can put your name as well so we know who you are so we'll be doing that right now there you go so I'm gonna put it in the chat as well so you know um, in case you're watching on a device um, there you go. So then you'll see it on the chat and you can click it. You can click the link from there as well if you would like to. Mm -hmm. Then um, we're going to start in a little bit as well. So, um, so yeah, so we can't wait. We just can't wait forever, but um, if not, you can watch as well, especially if you're on YouTube watching, then um, you can leave comments um, as well if you thought some of our responses were funny or not. Um, we should probably turn off the Ah, yes, very good point. All right, we're going to be starting the game in about a minute. Welcome, Kalara. And Yes, I believe Polaris is Axel. If I remember, if I remember correctly. <laughs> so we will see. All right, we're gonna start in a couple of seconds. And a reminder that um, the stream might be lagged a little bit, so make sure to follow your phone first. To yeah. Might, um, miss it or miss it. All right, and I am going to start the game. All right, so here we go. Like Paolo said, just keep an eye on your phone because that's going to be loading faster than the stream. Behold the glory mm. of Quiplash Three. All right, yeah, we have we have confirmation that Quip. it is indeed Axel. So welcome, Axel. My Glad name you is Schmitty, and I'll be taking real good care of you. Hey, if you're bummed out, you're not in the game. You can still affect the score. Join the voting audience by entering the room code. 
Uh, Alright, if you're just joining us now, you can still play the game, but through the audience, one. you just you're going we'll be to able see to vote two only, on your device. but that's fine. Answer each one with a brilliant response. Soon, you'll go up against another right, player's answers go. while everyone else votes for their favorite. Oh yes, points. You score points based on the percentage of voters who like your answers. Clear enough? Sure hope so. Let's go. Alright, we're going to write our prompts now. Yep, so just as a reminder, keep it family friendly. Mm. Cough, cough, Pablo. Mm. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, so you can do something funny. You can do something serious. You can answer something random, however you like. If you're really stuck, you can try the safety quip. And that will answer for you, but you only get half the points. So just do your best mm. to submit something that you think is fun or serious or that'll get all the points. Alright, so just two people waiting. Don't worry, you have about 40 seconds. If the stream is a little lag for you, then um, then that's how much time you have. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, so just make sure to do that. You can answer however you like. Oh, let's got it. <laughs> and uh, if you don't know what to put down, um, you can also look around you for inspiration or think of Did memes. Oh, I, I should have checked, but um, it, might have if you're stuck, it might have the equip for me option. Yeah, and that, that is what you always have. Let's so say five seconds. Hopefully we... There we go. So we shall see. So, how do you think you did? Vote for Let's our see. Mm -hmm. so don't forget to vote as well. As Let's get the party started with the worst thing to write inside a get well soon oh card. So we have, I hope you don't die, lol. And okay, if not, you may away. have your stuff. Wow, that actually... How long does the theme? Wow. theme? So, if you did not write one of those prompts, you'll get to vote for your favorite. As soon as you see it on your phone, go ahead and vote, even if you don't see it on the stream just yet. Because the stream usually lags a couple of seconds. Alright, yes. And it was, ah, it was probably my <laughs> Oh, we're tied. 50 50, okay. And next is. a good name for a dating app for mm -hmm. lawyers. Interesting. Time to pick the one you like best. Okay, so we have not toxic relationships here. And love. <laughs> ah, that's smart. I like that. Oh, I get it. Okay, I get it. Take me a second. Yeah. Very smart, Kamada. They're both good. And now, our next one. No shirt, no shoes, no blank, no service. Interesting prom. So we have money or great. Okay, knock -knock. choose your favorite. Pretty funny. Ooh. Mm, they're both good. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I like the knock knock tricks better <laughs> than my own. And here Money we have just straight to the point. The strangest thing to discover in a mummy's tomb. All right, so we have a hieroglyph of Among Us and scarabs. Right, people, it's voting time. Okay. Obligatory Among Us reference. Of course. I wonder who put it. I think it was um. So let's see, don't forget to vote as soon as you see it on your phone, which I think is funny. I, I knew Paolo put it. You could have guessed that one. And <laughs> Paolo got the clip flash. Nice. All the votes. I took a locket of round one's hair to remember it by. Let's look at the scores. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, okay. Paolo's winning. Alright. Let's take him down. All right. <laughs> ready for round Can't two? I hope so, because it's ready for you. Some of the prompts are a bit crazy, so the points are doubled. Going for the rest of us. The points are doubled, so we have a chance to catch up. <laughs> so don't forget, just whatever you think is funny, serious, or random, or mm. meaning, or among us. And 
as always, you can put the safety cue, which will answer for you for half the points. Or you can also look around you for inspiration to see what you think of. I'm gonna take a chance. Mm. That's scary. Okay, All right, there, there we go. go. Oh, that was the last Let's one. Finish, <laughs> shall we? Quickly. Oh, okay, nice, nice. Let's see. And we start with... What do mannequins do when the department Ooh. store closes? Uh, so we got have dance battles or host have fashion Adam. show. Interesting. I actually like both of these answers. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Yeah, I do like them. Well, let's see. You guys get to pick. Vote for your favorite. Five seconds. As soon as you see on your phone. Let's see. Ooh, 50 50. Ah. Ah, it was Flada. Moving right along. It would be great oh to have boy. a stunt double when you blank. Alright, it would be great to have a stunt double when you have people <laughs> over now or go real. after Taco pick Bell. Alright, I, I like that. Oh, maybe you no, can. I, I like them both. Too. Yeah. Oh, happy. I, I like the social <laughs> situation better. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of do too. Let's see how they handle. <laughs> Taco Bell's worth it, but the not The main not quality that producers are looking for in a reality TV show participant. The person with the saddest story <laughs> or skip it. Pick your favorite quip. Yeah, well, that's true. If it's a reality <laughs> show from, from like, nowadays. <laughs> one of them serious and one of them um, more serious. <laughs> Next on the dot, <laughs> the name of a new police drama about crime in the sky. Right, so we have crime in the sky with the All right, choose and your Sky favorite. Patrol. Sky Patrol sounds like a good like mm. actual name, but then crime in the sky. The drama about know. crime in the sky. Interesting problem. Mm -hmm. Let's see. About well, five seconds. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so I 50 like Sky 50. Patrol. We keep getting Sky Patrol pretty good. <laughs> Sky Patrol is clever because it's like. Okay, um, only Patrol. one. At least round I remind you. Let's see how it's shaping okay, up to I'll this end. point. <laughs> 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 Let's see it. Ooh. Oh, what is they the I same? Think, oh. I think we all tied. Honestly, I don't think anybody won anything. Riplash. Yeah, but a final take chance down. to take make your down. mark. You'll each get a prompt that, that needs means it's very close. three separate Don't responses. Got all that? Good. All right. So, like it said, you need to put down three answers. Well, three. Yeah, three responses to the one answer. Be as funny as you want, or as serious as you want. So let's see. Alright, there we go. It's gonna be. Um, I'm taking a huge risk. Hmm. Nice. Alright. If you're here, you, if you kind of want to chat, but don't Let's feel like proceed, words, shall you we? Know, put emotes, whichever one mm -hmm. looks the coolest. The three really main cool goals like in your time. first term as Ooh, ruler of Earth. I forgot about that one. Okay. Defeat homeless, protect the poor, free tacos, ban boring people, Decisions have free decisions. food for all. Choose your Reveal favorite. I am actually a villain. Ooh, okay, <laughs> I. Uh, <laughs> well, actually, first one's actually pretty, pretty nice. Second one is uh, literally not good. Oh, 
I like the second one, but I like free tacos. <laughs> well, second one has free food. <laughs> They're both good. I like them oh, both. nice one, Axel. When you think about it, there are only three emotions. They are. They are anger, sadness, and joy. Okay. Happy, sad, and joy. Oh my goodness! All right, vote for the no. one you like oh. best. The meme. I think the other one uh, reminds me of Insane. Josh Hutcherson came out of no, Inside Out. <laughs> oh, the other the one. Other <laughs> I was trying to remember. Yeah, he came he, out. No, he played I don't Pinball, remember that. Actually. That's why Riley broke. I I get it. Yeah, now. she just had that song playing. In my head. Yeah, core memory. Oh no, it was Pablo. Never mind. <laughs> I, I I take my vote. <laughs> I take my vote back. <laughs> you did it. Now let's see those final scores. Okay, I think I know who's gonna win. Everybody else got um, like splits. Yeah, because we were normal. <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations to everybody. Hope you had fun with that. Um, where we usually what we do every live stream is that we cycle through different games, so you're not always going to be playing the same game, um, and it's going to keep the fun going as well. So with that. Um, we're going to be doing our spiritual talk next, so um, get ready for that. But I uh, hope you had fun with the game. So, um, usually what we do for the spiritual talk is that we talk about something that um, pertains to um, the season that we're in or something that is happening recently. And this time, uh, we're going to be talking about Lent. Um, exactly what it is and how can we live it right so maybe you already know a few things about Lent maybe you need some reminders um, either way I'm gonna give you some challenges during the talk right because I, I believe everybody's in a different place in their faith right that doesn't mean it's bad like our rules say everybody's equal right we don't believe anybody's better than anybody so that means that some people uh, may just be like experiencing Lent for the first time or maybe you've already um, are more experienced in that. That's fine, right? This is going to be information that everybody can use. So, first of all, we just need to define what is Lent. So, the whole 40 days that lead up to Easter, I start with Ash Wednesday, um, is Lent. And this year, Ash Wednesday fell on Valentine's Day because uh, Jesus thought it would be funny. No, I'm just kidding. Because um, it changes every year, of course, and um, so. Basically, um, it's those 40 days, right? And the reason it's 40 days is because in the Bible, Jesus took some time to pray in the desert for 40 days, right? Now, we don't have to, thankfully, go spend time in the desert unless you already live in the desert. Then um, you're living a very biblically accurate um, Lent. But, uh, but no. Um, so, however, Sundays are treated a little bit differently, right? They're technically not part of Lent. So, like, um, if you're fasting... If you're giving something up, sacrificing, you actually don't have to do it on Sunday. However, that's what I'm saying about if you're in a different place in your faith, you know, you can always go the extra mile. Like even though you don't have to do your sacrifice on Sundays, you know, I challenge you if it's if it's getting really easy, then then treat Sundays like the rest of Lent, right? I mean, Sundays, some like um, when I was a kid, like a young kid, one time I gave up chocolate for Lent, and it was very hard for me. Um, but then when the first Sunday of Lent came, um, I decided to have an all-chocolate meal for dinner. I had like chocolate milk, chocolate cereal, and a big chocolate muffin. And um, I ended up throwing up that night. <laughs> and it was not a good idea, right? And I realized that that's not the point of Lent, right? It's not like uh, Sunday's the cheat day, right? No, Sunday's Jesus is giving us this time to, to ease, not ease the suffering, but like to give us a little bit of slack right not in a bad way but uh but you can take it um, however you want right like it, and some people of course say sundays are the same i'm treating it the same and next um of course lent is a time to get closer to jesus specifically by sacrifice and i, I keep mentioning that and it's because that's kind of the main point of lent is to sacrifice not to be sad and gloomy and like everything sucks but like no it's, it's to to sacrifice 
right? Um, I don't know if you remember from the Ash Wednesday Mass, but they were talking about how in Jesus' time there were some people that when they were fasting, they um, tried to look extra gloomy. They told everybody how sad they were. That's not the point, right? And we'll go a little bit more into that. So the three main parts of Lent are prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. And we're going to go through those and how you can do those um, depending on where you are in your faith. The first one is, um, the, the big one is prayer, right? So every Lent, um, we kind of look where we are in our prayer life, right? I mean, because we're supposed to be praying all the time, but it's, it's fine if you're not doing that well. It's fine. I mean, that's why we have Lent, right? So we can, we can stop, say, you know, I'm not talking to Jesus as much. Or maybe you're saying like, wow, I'm talking to Jesus a lot, so then maybe it's time to do more, right? One thing you can do is read the Bible, that's fine. That's not for everybody. You know, like even me personally, I love listening to the readings during Mass. But uh, but reading for me sometimes is a little difficult. Um, so that's fine. Because there's many ways to pray. You can pray the Rosary. You can pray the Our Father. You can just talk to Jesus about your day. Right? You can go to Mass, Confession. There's a lot of different ways to pray. Which I think is um, it's good that you can take advantage. And you can start out small. Maybe you're not too sure. And that's fine. I mean, Jesus doesn't get mad at you easily if you're not sure. I mean, you have 40 days to do this, and that's fine, right? Um, and then some special prayers that we have for Lent um, are Stations of the Cross, which um, if you're here with us in St. Lawrence, we have those on Fridays in the morning after the daily Mass or at 7 p.m., right? And in fact, I think one of the Stations of the Cross is happening right now, actually. Um, and you can also watch or read the story of Jesus' Passion, Right, there's there's a movie about it, but like there's other ways to watch it. You can also read in the Bible. There's um, Catholic YouTube videos as well, which is another way to pray. Um, there's a lot of Catholic YouTubers who um, do a lot. Um, I'll recommend uh, Father Rob Gallia. He is a priest from Australia, and uh, he does a lot for Lent, especially if you're on Instagram. Um, he's been putting up a lot of things, and then some people also like Father Mike Schmidt. He does um, a lot of very deep dives into the faith. Um, and um, you can also ask people for their suggestions, right? If you ask other people, your parents, people in church, you can go up to somebody random and say, hey, what are you, what are you doing for Lent? Can I get some advice, right? Um, you can do that. Maybe, maybe it even challenges them, right? Maybe it's like, oh, wow, I didn't think about that. And that's, um, you can always start, of course, by just talking to Jesus about your day. And like Glada said, um, with Mary, we can also talk to Mary too. The next one is almsgiving. So almsgiving means to give money to the poor. Now, even though I know we're, we're all young here, some of us, even those like myself in college, don't have as much money, there's many ways to give to the poor, right? You can um, sacrifice through service and charity, right? Which means you can give your time, right? Maybe you can um, go somewhere where there are actively like helping people in need um, which there's many places where you can find that um, or if you have if god blesses you with money you can also donate to the church i know in saint lawrence we have the saint vincent de paul society which that's what they dedicate um, their their time to um, to give to people in need and you can give money to them and say you know i don't know exactly where to give but i want to donate to the saint vincent de paul society and then they'll say i know how to use the money and we'll help people out and then you can also like charity you can give things i know saint claire our sister parish um every month or week not every week they have a different collection for the homeless which is like backpacks tents jackets um, food things like that and every week they're asking for different things and you can drop it off at the church and um, that's one way you can do that too and then um volunteering at charities like i said before but also if um, you don't have the time or the money to do that or, or the car to do that, um, I will recommend Free Rice. It's a game, um, it's a mobile app or you can go on the website and it's a trivia game. But what you do is that every right answer counts for rice um, that they're gonna donate to people in countries that need food, right? And how it works is that they have a lot of ads. You know, if, there's, if you see a lot of ads, it's actually good because that's how they're making money. Um, that's how they're generating the rice is through the advertisements, right? And um, you can play it as little or as long as you like. Maybe that's one thing you can do for um, for Lent, right? Um, is to 
take time to do things like free rice. Another um, good charity is um, Humble Bundle if you're a gamer, if you love video games. Um, Humble Bundle is um, somewhere where, where you can buy games at a discount or software or even ebooks, things like that. But you can donate all the money to charity. And um, there's Catholic charities there, and I've, I've done it before. And uh, if you want to do that, and then the last one I'll recommend is Tab for a Cause. If you browse the web a lot on a computer, you can install a plugin which every time you open a tab, it, like again with the ads, it generates money and then you can give it to charity. So that's a couple, just a few things you can do. Last one is fasting, which is probably the big one that everybody always um, is worried about. But um, for Lent, we choose to give up at least one thing right um, or to do um, to sacrifice right and um, the, well, the reason we do this is not because we want to be sad and gloomy but it's because um, we want to deepen our relationship with Jesus through discipline so that means is that if you sacrifice um, something by giving something up like I had mentioned like chocolate like it trains you to make it easier to um, say no to temptation it makes it easier to um, to do prayer, right? To want to pray, right? And, and even like outside of your prayer life, it makes it easier to do chores, things like that, right? Because if you're doing something that you don't want to do, but that you know is good for you, right? You build up that discipline, like in sports, right? And then you build up that relationship with Jesus that way too. And then every Friday and specific days like Ash Wednesday in the Triduum, we um, fast and abstain. So what that means is that on those days, um, we are called not to eat meat and to only have um, three meals that are two medium and one, um, but yeah, two small and one medium meal and no snacks, right? And then some people, what they do is that they fast all of Lent, right? So maybe like if, if for you, fasting is easy. Like I've, I've met some people that, that they say, oh, I already eat healthy. I, I don't eat that much anyways. I don't snack and eating meat is not too difficult for me. Maybe you can fast not just on Fridays, right? Maybe you can add an extra day, several days, or the whole Lent, right? You can build it up too, right? You can see how it is, like try one week, do two, or three, and then see, right? But And if not, that's fine. Then you can just stick to the one Friday. Um, so then, oh, I already said that. So no large meals or meat. And then when we fast, um, like I was saying, like the people in Jesus' time were not going to be boasting like, oh, well, you know, I fasted all of Lent. Look at me. You know, like I didn't just give up meat. I gave up all this food. Like that's not the point. The point is to discipline yourself and to um, learn from that. Then the last thing we're going to talk about is how to choose a sacrifice for Lent. Because sometimes maybe it seems difficult to choose one um, or maybe it feels like you're failing. That's fine. I'm going to give some advice on that. So the first um, advice is to pick something that challenges you. But not that it's impossible. Even if you think, you know, this year I'm going to give up sugar for Lent. Like, that's a big that's a big one. Maybe, maybe that's not too possible, and that's fine. It doesn't mean that you're weak or that you're not that deep in your faith. Oh, well, no. That's why everybody has different limits. So maybe, maybe sacrificing sugar isn't, isn't that easy for you, or more like isn't possible, right? And that's fine. Right? I had a friend um, growing up in youth group who gave up spicy food for Lent when she was, I believe, um, a junior in, in um, high school. And um, it was very difficult for her, but she could, she did it, right? And, and I said, like, wow, I, I was, I'm older than her by, like, two years. And I was like, wow, I, even I'm not sacrificing that big. But then I thought about it and said, well, that's, that's it, right? She's in a different place. She can do that. I, I can't, and that's fine, right? And um, so you can do something like that. And the next thing on that note is if you fail, it, it's fine. Right, if you gave up chocolate and you ate chocolate, it doesn't mean Lent is over. It means you got to try again and keep trying, right? And if you keep failing, um, you can always ask Jesus for help or you can reevaluate and say, maybe, maybe I'm giving up too much. Maybe I'm sacrificing something that I can't do. And then on that note, you don't just have to give something up if, as your sacrifice for Lent. You can choose to do something, right? Which is also another challenge, right? You can choose to pray more. You can choose to read the Bible more. You can choose to um, pay attention more during Mass by reading the readings beforehand so you're prepared, right? You can choose to do things, right? Choose to watch Catholic movies on Formed, which is another great um, resource that um, you can 
use. Um, and then the last thing is that you're not alone, right? You can ask the saints, you can ask your friends, your family to pray for you. And if you're doing really well, especially, I'm going to encourage you to encourage others, right? To say, like, you can do it. Like, how's you don't have to say, what are you giving up for land? What is your sacrifice? You can say, no, I, you can say, hey, whatever your sacrifice is, I'm praying for you. If you need somebody to talk to, if you need advice, if you want to do something, pick something together, um, then you can encourage others, right? Because some, maybe sometimes that's what we need to hear, right? We, we're, we feel like we're not doing the best, but if somebody tells you, hey, you know, you can do it, right? Then that, that helps a lot. All right. So that um, does it for a talk. If you have any questions, you can always um, leave a comment if you're watching on YouTube um, or um, ask in on chat or contact me in some way, right? Um, if you have any questions or comments or even stories that you want to share, especially if you're on YouTube, you can share like examples of what you've done or or whatever, right? Either way, we're here for you. All right, we're, I mean, we're going to be praying for you either way for Lent and for all the youth of St. Lawrence that um, Lent can go well. All right. So that is going to bring us to the end of the live stream. Well, almost the end. Not not quite, but um, but we're um, going to be finishing pretty soon. We um, have just a few announcements that we're going to put up on screen in a second. And um, they are right there. All right, so the first announcement is that Tuesdays we have online game nights. So if you want to... Um, what we do every Tuesdays from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. is that we play Jackbox games and then we also pray. And um, if you would like to do that, then you can contact me through your parents or through the office. And the next youth group live stream is next week, which is the 23rd. And the next in-person youth group is uh, March 1st. What we're doing now is that we're having the first um, Fridays of the month is going to be in person at Gabrielli Hall. And the next one is March 1st. And then um, the last one that I forgot to put up here is that, um, I, well, I keep mentioning it, but I'm going to mention it again, which is that we're going to be um, cutting it a little bit, this stream on YouTube, and um, you can watch from there. Uh, if you're just like dropping in right now, or if you um, need to hear it again, and if you're watching on YouTube already, then great. Um, so with that, we are going to close in a prayer. So. Um, keeping in mind all that we learned today, all that we've done today, um, we're going to invite you to join us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So dear Jesus, thank you very much for letting us um, reflect on um, our Lenten journey that we're going to be taking these 40 days. I pray that we're not too hard on ourselves with whatever we pick for our sacrifice, and that if we keep failing to help us get back up every time. I pray for encouragement from everybody and that if it's your will so that we can encourage other people as well. St. Lawrence, pray, pray for, for us. us. Blessed God Locutis, pray, pray for, for us. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray, pray for us. In the nombre del Padre, y del Hijo, y del Espíritu Santo. Amen. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us for this um, youth group. Um, we hope that you have a very blessed weekend and a very blessed Lent. And we shall catch you um, when we catch you. <laughs> All right. Bye.